video chatbot tutorial. Hello, welcome to our channel WebWiz, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to use video. So please watch till the end of the video to properly understand the tutorial. And if you guys are wondering, you can check out the Tidio website using the link down there in the video description below. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, what is Tidio? So Tidio is a online platform that lets you use live AI chatbot templates to, you know, talk with your website customers. So basically, it's just a AI function live support for your website. So as you can see, yeah, it helps uh, turning conversation into sale opportunities with live chat and chatbot. So it engage website visitors with li with live chat and engage your visitors through the live chat widget and offer personalized discount based on their activity to turn them into loyal customers. So this is very useful for especially for website owners or online website. For example, if you're owning a Shopify store, yeah, it's really helpful to have tdo to support your website so as you can see if you want to create a account just click get started and it will redirect you to this page and yeah you will need to provide your email and password and also your website so it doesn't really need to be a specific website you can just use your uh any website that you have when creating an account so as you can see i use my wix website and after you created your account, it will start loading and it will redirect you to this page where you may need to complete these steps. So as you can see, you can now just configure your live chat and also you can name your bot. So as you can see, I'm just going to name my bot in to uh, Peter Assistance, for example. So I'm, I can just also change the color of my uh, chat bot. So I'm just going to change the color from this to this. So yeah. And also, I can change the language of my chatbot. So after that, you can just continue. And you will need to choose your main focus. So it doesn't have to be uh, specific. You can just pick whatever you want. So I'm just going to check all of this. And how many support agents will use Studio? You can just put whatever you want. So I'm just going to uh, make it 10, for example. And also, what is your industry? So you can just choose whatever it suits you. So for example, my website, my main website that I use is Wix, but I'm not going to use it in my TGO account. So for example, I'm just going to have a service industry. So how many inquiries do you get monthly? So based on your website, you can just put it whatever you want. So now set up your first chatbot. So after that, you can choose what the the first function of your chatbot would you like to be so for example you can just ask them if they like to get a closer look at your offer or you can ask them if they like to order a phone call or just greet them warmly so i'm just going to greet them warmly so also you can you know customize this message if you want so I'm just going to customize this message so right here this is the first chatbot that our first uh, live support that they will see when it, when your customers or website visitors open your website. So yeah, right there. So click continue and right here, as you can see, you can now just uh, connect your TGO account to any of these website uh, creators, for example, Shopify. But I think JavaScript, you can use the JavaScript for manual connecting so for example if you want to connect on specific website that outside wordpress shopify you can use this code to you know install in your website so for example if you click others this will also appear uh, just code but if you want to connect your uh, tdo account to wordpress or shopify you can just uh, click shopify or wordpress and they will automatically connect you by uh, uh, installing your app or for wordpress installing the tdo widget so now i'm just going to connect my tdo account to my shopify so what you're going to do if you want to connect it just uh connect your shopify url account so after you connect it it will redirect you to this page where you will need to install your tdo application the tdo application first in your website Shopify website in order to integrate the Shopify. So now after you install the app, it will start loading again. 
Then after that, after loading, you will now appear on the TJO user interface. So as you can see, it will this one will appear. So you can just do these steps later. It's not necessarily needs to be done. So for now, we're just going to explore the uh, TJO tabs or TJO functions. So for example, let's just go to the Invax. So if you go to the Invax, you will see all the active conversation that you have done so far. So it appears to a into three categories unassign my open and solve so in unassign all of the conversation that not being assigned to you will appear there and for my open all of the conversation under there is the conversation that being assigned to you and for the solve under solve this is the conversation that being solved so the problem of your customers that they uh they send to live support or live chat support and if you solve them yeah all of the all of the conversation like that will appear under salt so now let's go to the next tab so it's called chatbots so you will see all of the chatbots templates that you can use for your website so it the templates also comes into three different categories so for example they have a templates for increased sales they have a templates for generating leads also they have a templates for solving problems so if you click into increase sales you will see all of the templates that you can use to increase your sales so for example there's a cart abandon cart boosters proactive welcome uh, support product recommendation upselling bot etc etc and for example if you click on generating leads all of the live chat support bot will appear also right there that you can use so for example lead magnet subscribe form you could also use that news and updates you can also choose that so for example let's just add a uh, chatbot in my account so now let's use this generating leads lead magnet subscribe form so you can just also customize the message if you want but i leave it as it is and also you can change the image if you want so for now let's just activate my uh, chatbot so after that as, as you can see it will appear in your chatbots after you activated it and as you can see if you hover your mouse right here as you can see on the screen you will see the trigger of your chatbot that needs to be done in order for this chatbot to be activated so as you can see it needs to first visit on site so for example if your customers accept the visit your website for the first time that chatbot will be activated so i'm just going to copy this uh website my website and paste it to another tab and as you can see if someone's opened my shopify website this chat support will appear right here on the bottom right and if you open it this message will appear as i uh, set it so the subscribe button or the subscribe message will appear as i set it so as you can see you can add more uh message you want to add so for example i'm just going to add this one so I think it's better if we add welcoming the visitors. So let's add this one. Let's use this template. And as you can see, this problem will appear if you have a same trigger in your in all of your chatbots. So if you have a two chatbot that has a same trigger, you need to change the other one for it to be activated. So my the chatbot that I created earlier has a trigger of PC first visit on site so we need to change this one into this and so visitor scroll page and for example let's just add a new action instead of adding a message let's add this action asking a question so let's just delete this one and we need to connect the trigger to the action and let's just change the uh, what would i like to ask for example hello uh how do you like our page so now let's activate it and it starts saving as you can see the chatbot is ready so let's go back to my page let's refresh the page and as you can see i <laughs> my website doesn't have a scroll button because i think i have my website have a problem but if your website does have a scroll button or the visitors can scroll on your website and that chatbot should be working properly so as you can see my website have a problem so i think i need to fix this but yeah if your website is pre pretty fine and okay all of the actions should be okay 
to use. And right there, if you go back to the customers tab in your TJO, you will see all of the users that visit your website and you can also start a manual chat with them. So as you can see on the right, there is a start chat button. And yeah, also if you go to the this one, the other uh, tab, email marketing, the TJO also provides a uh, different bunch of email marketing template that you can use for uh, email campaign to generate more leads and increase your sales. And that's it. And also if you go to the analytics tab right there on the bottom part, you can see all of the conversation, all the handled conversation, mixed conversation, and also the response time of your uh, chat so you can also see your leads your sales your operators your online hours and also your tickets so the tickets is like a uh, you can manage all of your message at once using your main email and that's it that's all for the tjo user interface and its different function and that's how you use tjo live chat support and that's it also for the tutorial for today if you guys want more please like and subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video bye